Thumbnail update, tons and tons and tons of mushrooms everywhere. So yesterday I went and picked up some new tools uh, for working on the terrace. I've got quite a big surface area of wood that I need to sand back. So I decided to give this a go. A little rotary sander that goes with the batteries that I've already got. And the other piece of equipment that I went to get was a pneumatic hammer drill. The drilling that I've been doing in the concrete that I laid for the terrace. Uh, concrete set really nice and hard, but too hard to manage to... Um, get through it with a standard drill so rather than going for standard hammer drill I've gone for this one which is slightly more powerful uh, this is what I had been using previously uh, which is a standard uh, Ryobi drill with a decent sized battery and a Tivoli drill bit and for these holes here I managed to get into the depth that I wanted no problem this one as well is fine this one, for some reason, I've only managed to get into that depth. And this one to that, and that's it. It just wouldn't go any further, even with a new drill bit, it wouldn't go anywhere. So let's see how that changes with the new drill. So this is the new drill. <laughs> new drill bit. Yeah, safe to say it's going in beautifully. These are the 12 by 12 posts that I am going to be putting up. Nice and chunky. <laughs> So yeah, it's not very noisy, I have to say, it's pretty quiet, um, pretty easy progress. It has made an immediate difference on this finish, you're no longer going to get a splinter in your hand if you run your hand up it. Um, I think I probably could go with a slightly heavier duty uh, sanding uh, grit amount, probably go for uh, 180 over 120, that's the 120. Um, yeah, happy with that, I think it's going to be a pretty useful little tool. My partner Steph's come to help today. I've managed to get the three posts upright. Basically it's a two-man job. It's difficult to hold the post up and make sure it's correctly aligned, etc. I've definitely learned that I like to build new things rather than renovate old things. Prime example is this very complicated situation that we're left with at the junction between the old house and the old house structure and the terrace which is going to come on here. 
So I'm basically making my way along and doing a very, very dull job, which is cutting down some bits of old um, posts, filling them in the gap, which thankfully is the same height as this. Where necessary, mouse proofing and um, screwing in. And after, I think I'm going to have to find some kind of waterproof juncture between this and this, which I haven't yet found. I've been looking on the internet, but I haven't found anything yet. So, uh, yeah, not very exciting day. Um, surveying the bonfire at the same time. Uh, yeah, I guess not every day. You're not going to feel it every day building. You're going to feel it some days and other days you're just going to feel like... Well, it's, a bit, it's one of those. Oh, well, keep going. I just keep telling myself, just come and do something. Don't stop. Whatever you do, don't stop. Just keep going. And eventually we will get onto a more fun job, which hopefully will be Saturday when the terrace really starts to take shape. Just running the hose pipe out to my fire in case it gets carried away. And notice this little mushroom here, which I believe is a sep. Uh, not sure if it is edible or not, but essentially that is what they tend to look like. Nice round head with the uh, stalk, like that. Uh, seem to be some others coming here as well. That looks pretty enticing. I'm going to check it out. And here's another one. Looks more like a butterfly, actually. Sort of divided in two with a stem and underneath like that. So different again. And Joe's been this morning uh, to help me put uh, the big bolts through, which go all the way through here and tighten them up. He's got the, a really nice big long um, drill bit. Where I was previously filling in, where we have uh, decided to put another layer on to bring the height of the deck in more in line with the height of the floor. So the decking will come up to this level here. Here I am a bit with Joe, who's been helping me put the terrace together. We have made some serious progress. So all the central structure has gone in now and we're just about starting to put the uh, beams on. Uh, we've attached a sort of a guide plank to the side of the house that meets up with the end of the post. Uh, which is completely square to the house. And then we're just butting up the planks right up against that on each end. Uh, and in the middle we're making the joins. Where the join is not falling on a beam, I'm going to reinforce it underneath. Uh, slightly more attractive than just cutting and putting four screws uh, close together on every one of these. So we're just going to support a little bit from underneath here. Um, but it even even as it stands, it's very solid. It's not going anywhere. Delighted. Great progress today. Uh, there's the view. Now we're a bit more uh, up. It's even nicer. Uh, the birds are singing and the sun's setting. And it's stopped raining. So I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow and finishing off uh, laying the decking and getting it all stained up. In the next few days, it's going to be nice weather. So, uh, yeah, I've got my work cut out to get this finished and dry and stained and protected before it rains again. Great.
are some very typical Charolais cows. You can see them all over the Morvon. Um, make very nice burgers. the edges when I say terrace completely finished I mean the deck basically the flat deck part obviously I've still got all my rails and I need to connect it to the building that will happen later when I've already put the cladding on the walls decision time on what I'm going to do with this am I going to stain keep the, a level of wood color am I going to go for black which is what I had imagined I have just done a test panel and that would be the finish if I were to do it in black. Um, which I have to say, it does look very attractive. The downside is it also seems to show every single speck of dirt. I'm wondering whether I might be better off going for a more natural colour. Uh, and maybe just painting the post black. Don't know, don't know. Gosh, I'm a bit um, torn. Uh, I don't know. It's the perfect weather for staining. <laughs> but I don't know. Another beautiful day. It's predicted to be the last sunny day for a while. So I've opted for a neutral wood stain and it's a natural uh, wood saturator uh, which is going to preserve uh, more or less this colour. It's probably going to dry up a little bit lighter. Uh, over time it will probably still grey a bit um, but it's going to leave a surface that is not going to get quite so hot to walk on for me and for our dogs and I think it won't show uh, the dirt so much I think it will gradually tone down and be easier to maintain than a black wood which tends to show the dirt straight away and the other thing that I decided I liked the idea was that the deck when we're inside the um, floor which is also going to be a wood uh, of some description not yet decided that when you're inside with these big glazed doors that you will see a continuation of the floor going out uh, into the countryside. I think that will make the space inside feel bigger as well. If you're new to DIY, find yourself a mentor like Joe. It's not just the physical help, it's being able to run your ideas by someone and talk through the options when you hit a problem. Sometimes you just need to borrow a really specific tool. I couldn't have got this far without him.